So I think the main weakness of the gray market watch dealer is it's so dependent on the people. They're always advertising the people. Not only Anthony, but Marco and Jimmy, and they're always on YouTube. Uh, same with Roman, right? And when you your YouTube channel is named Anthony, and that's the main way that you promote yourself, and the same with TikTok, right? You're promoting an individual. What happens when that individual is hit by a bus, incarcerated, maybe for DUIs or whatever? allegedly and what happens to that business can the rest of the team come together and this is the same idea i always have is i can never take a vacation because i'm not able to find employees who can do sales and account executive things when i'm gone it is very sad and I honestly have not taken a vacation since 2015 when I started my business. I work weekends. I work nights. So when a company is very, very dependent on an individual, and in my case, I'm making a law firm now. I'm the only lawyer in the law firm. Therefore, things don't get done unless a lawyer signs off on it. Then what happens when that person is incarcerated for a given amount of time hypothetically and Anthony's business revolves around his relationships uh, whatever he is you know I think I've been very fair he's very good at sales but he's not good at other stuff which would be include management I do wish that he didn't start drinking again and he had a I think one of the best moments I remember when he was at eatery and somebody went up to him, I think he was doing shopping, Christmas shopping, and said, hey, you know, I watched your videos. You, I think it was a young woman. You inspired me also, you know, I'm sober. I'm one year sober and so on, and your videos have been very inspiring. His past uh, has been issues with drinking. Um, he knows this. Uh, he's mentioned it many times. Uh, in his own words, he understands that not drinking would do very well in the whole hard 75 no drinking when everyone has their own demons for me i'm you know, when i gamble it can get out of control really fast um, especially when i'm losing uh, there's always that mindset that oh i'll just make it up in the next hand the next hand the next hand and you know, you can you can lose a lot of money very fast with that mentality uh, the casinos were meant, the casinos, I would say, prey on people who have an addiction to gambling. So everyone has an addiction. Um, Anthony's addiction seems to be related to alcoholic beverages. And when he does something bad, um, allegedly, let's allegedly, there's a DUI in the works in Los Angeles. I've seen the, I have checked it myself. I have fact-checked it a few different times. Um, yes, it is, I believe, when you put it in his name, it does pop up, and it is real. It is the real website. What happens to your company? What happens to your business? What happens to your employees that you so desperately love when you're not there? Can the business survive without you? I think for Timepiece Gentleman, the, the engine that makes it run, that makes it still running, is Anthony. Whether or not it's a good idea, a bad idea, you cannot say that he's not good at sales. He's very good at sales. He just needs somebody. And I don't even know if you could even go there to kind of control his personal life. If he had more self-awareness and had more... I, I'm not even talking about a coach. I'm talking about like a real friend, like a real friend who he would listen to and say, Anthony, you're drunk. We're going to order you an Uber. We'll leave the Ferrari out here. I'll, I'll drive the Ferrari back. You know, I'll leave my car out here. And this is probably the issue that I have is you surround yourself with people who are attracted to you because you have money. And you are willing to spend money. Anthony is not a bad boss in terms of like, he'll buy you a car. 
he'll buy you a, he'll rent you out a apartment better than the apartment that he's living in. He'll go half half on with a Ferrari that you drive. And I I just don't know what would happen. So like in terms of like if I was an employee, my number one task would be to make sure that this isn't messed up, that our boss is still available. Because if he's gone, then the company is going to collapse almost immediately. So again, um, if I had to figure out what he actually needs in life, it would probably be a really good friend. A friend who can tell him the truth. A friend can, who can tell him, Anthony, you are wasted. You're not driving. This is an Uber. I'm going to call you an Uber. If you're worried about your car not making it back, you know, I'll drive the car back. I'll, somebody who understands that if he goes down, then our whole company is effed. Because I really truly believe it is. Because you look at the people in the company, Travis and Trevor, there's some new salespeople, Liz and Darby and Z. Who's going to run the company? If something bad were to happen, and it, it might not be DUI incarceration, it might be you got hit by a bus one day, just randomly got hit by a bus. You got injured, you got COVID, you were sick for a week. And I think when you talk about that, I would, I would be concerned. I would be very concerned that this is spiraling out of control and... You know, we all have, you know, I think, you know, I will speak for myself, right? The first thing is to recognize what your addiction is and then address the problem. If that's going to Alcoholic Anonymous, Alcoholic Anonymous, AA, if that's getting somebody to keep track of, you know, make sure that, you know, they, you get home safely and you also don't put other people in danger while getting home safely. Uh, if that's having a personal driver um, who just drives you to places so you can work and you can do other stuff, then it will be worth well worth the money because without Anthony, if something were to happen to Anthony that would take him out of the watch gray market, watch making business, watch selling business, not making, then the whole company goes poof overnight. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Obviously, I'm referencing a issue that he may be having soon legally. Bye, guys.